What's up guys, doing a little video vlog here. Today's video is on the blue gourami. I've been getting tons of questions regarding gourami fish and a lot of them are having to deal with them getting sick. So I wanna really urge to you, I see the biggest factor playing a role when these gourami fish get sick is heater malfunction. And, um, well I guess heater malfunction and water quality. I think it goes hand in hand with beginner fish keepers because you just got your first fish essentially and it happened to be a blue gourami because blue gourami look absolutely amazing and they're awesome fish and I uh, beginner fish keepers always get them but I'm gonna show you guys some sweet footage and I'm gonna talk to you about taking care of the blue gourami just in general I'm gonna keep this real simple because I know a bunch of you are new fish keepers and uh, I just want to simplify things as much as possible not overcomplicate them because it's really common uh, when talking about water parameters and etc so um visit the description box and i'll place a link to a super good heater the eheim jagger is probably the best heater on the market right now and that's what i would advise uh most new fish keepers to invest in when you have tropical fish like blue gourami and um yeah i'll throw a link in the description box i'd, I'd say eheim and fluval are the best making heaters right now uh, yeah, let's flip the cam here and I'll talk about some uh, cool blue gourami and we will watch some cool videos. All right, first things first, what make gourami super cool in my opinion is two things. Number one, they breathe surface from the water or they breathe from the surface. They take gulps of air and they have a labyrinth style breathing setup. And this doesn't mean that you can just let the water go to crap uh, because they breathe air. That's not the case. I commonly see that in the betta fish industry. You still need to keep up with a with your water changes and get a good filter. And if you're looking for a good filter, get the AquaClear series. They're the best on the planet. I'll throw a link in the description box if you're looking for one. Um, and the second reason what makes them super unique is some of them spit water out of the water. Like it's a crazy thing to witness. Um, there's videos surfacing the web where gourami fish are actually spitting water on a branch to knock down an insect and when the insect falls down they consume it they eat it it's fascinating but as far as taking care of these guys um it's these fish are super simple i consider them just like your generic uh tropical community fish meaning you can keep them with tons of other fish like um some cool tank mates might be other gourami species they're pretty docile towards each other what I also have seen people keep them with is um, nice cichlids, like fire mouse cichlids, jewel cichlids, um, severum cichlids. There's there's uh, tons of tank mates, tetras, uh, angelfish I've seen them kept with. And uh, as far as tank size, I would say a 20 gallon minimum. Get yourself a good filter. I mentioned the aqua clear, link in the description. Um, as far as food, I would advise spending a couple extra dollars and get like a decent brand. You can get Omega One brand. Uh, I highly advise it. Some of you guys make fun of me because I advise it so much, but it's great food and it's sold on Amazon. So you can get it shipped to your door the next day prime. So uh, I'll also throw a link to that in the description box if you're interested. Um, 20 gallon tank, uh, filter, tank mates what else is there uh maybe give your fish food once a day maybe twice but only give it the amount that it can consume within a couple minutes anything more than that you're just what's going to happen is the food is going to fall to the bottom of the tank sit in the gravel and wreck your water so overfeeding is a big no-no like I mentioned before, you're going to want a good heater because I find that a lot of people screw this up and they buy the, the, the heaters from Walmart that auto adjust and you don't have to set them. That is a big no-no. Get yourself an Eheim Jagger. Like I said, I'll throw a link in the description box or a Fluval M series. There's, there's a couple good makers on uh, or a couple good manufacturers of heaters. Fluval, Eheim are probably the best two. Um, keep your tank between 78 to 81 degrees Fahrenheit, anything below that, and you're going to be dealing with sick fish. And when your fish gets sick, you're going to go down the wormhole of trying to fix it with medicine. And sometimes the medicine stresses them out. And when a fish gets stressed, they just, they die. So it's that simple. It's kind of a wormhole, but I just get a heater, do your best, keep up with water changes, get yourself an or a Python water changer. Um, change your water 
every so often i would advise doing like a 50 percent water change once a week um you can get a test kit but it gets it gets a little more intricate when it comes to testing your water and if you're somewhat new you might just want to research that and just stick to a schedule of 50 percent water changes and when i say 50 percent, that means 50 percent of the water in your tank get a water changer that way it'll hook up to your sink and you can pull out the water and then put it back in it's super easy don't use buckets it's a waste of time um these it's this is really basic fish keeping guys garamis are super easy to keep they are susceptible to disease and sickness but um they're really cool fish uh, a lot of them stay pretty small except the kissing garami but uh, that means it makes it even it me it makes them even more popular because you can keep them in small tanks and that's what a lot of fish keepers are looking for, uh, putting a lot of community fish in a small tank because a lot of us don't have you know a seventy five gallon tank when we're first starting out. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, if you guys have any comments, hit up the comment section. Make sure to, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Uh, you can also visit my Facebook page, Palmer Fish Aquatics. I am starting my fish store as we speak right now, so maybe I can ship you some fish or we can just talk uh, some questions, etc. This is just kind of my vlogging channel. You can also also visit my main channel, Palmer Fish Q&A. All right, guys, I'm going to quit blabbing here. Whoop.